Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So similar to the previous video, we've got a, uh, a graph y equals e to the power of x. We're going to revolve this 360 along the y-axis, so it's going to trace out a 3D solid looking something like this. So, so you can imagine this as being like a, a wine glass. Uh, work out the volume of this wine glass. So, um, so in, in the previous video, I, I asked you to, um, to sum up all the disks. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to ask you to sum up all these shells. So we're going to do it vertically. Okay, so from 0 to 1. In the previous video, we did it horizontally from 1 to E. But in this video, we're going to sum up um, vertically. So it will be from 0 to, to 1. And your, your integral will be from 0 to 1, something along the line of something dx. Because you're you're moving in the in the dx direction, you're you're moving in the x direction. Well, anyway, work out the volume of this wine glass. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, we've done this many times. Um, uh, the the volume is given by this. So it's really you summing up all these shells. So you're moving in the x direction. You're moving in the x direction. Let's just look at this one particular shell here, the thickness associated with this shell here is dx. The thickness is dx. Well, don't forget you need to work out the circumference of this shell here, which will be 2 pi r, the r being being the, the, uh, the x direction as we're moving along. We've done this many times, so the volume is given by, by this. So if you don't understand this, uh, track, track back one of the earlier videos. Um, so, so the volume is given by this. So now, um, now we we can, um, yeah. So, so break this up. So it's like this times this. That will then give you this, and then concentrate on finding the integral of this, and then finding the integral of this. So you can do like this. And notice that this, notice that e here is a constant. This e here is a constant. It's just a number. So, uh, so this take the whole constant out. That will then give you this. And then, uh, and then over here, the con two pi is a constant, so take it out. So it's like this. So, uh, so now integrate this. That will then give us um, that will then give us this. And then uh, remember, you've got to put it into here. And then later, you've got to put this into here. So that will then give you that will then give this whole thing here. This whole thing here will will give you this. So now it's just a matter of uh, working this out now. So here we've got a You've got one thing times another thing, so use um, use the use integration by parts. So let u let u equals this, and let u let v prime equals this. So uh, so it's uh, it's blah blah blah. We've done this many times, uh, and then put it back into there, and blah blah blah. It will then it will then take you to here. Okay, so so now it's a matter of working this out. So working that out would then give you, would then give you. Uh, don't, don't forget, it's got to be this times this, and then also later on this times this. But combining these two, it will um, it will give you this. Okay, because if you put one into here, e to the power of one, and then times times uh, times one, and so on. So uh, so from here, it will then take you to to here. Okay, and then this bit here should be straightforward now. So um, so this so if you integrate this, it will give you it will give you this e it will give you e to the power of x, but then you've got to evaluate it from zero to one. Or put it into here that will then give you e to the power of one. Put the zero into here that will give you e to the power of zero, and then it's blah blah blah. Overall, the final answer would be this. Okay.